Hey everybody, this is Brian, and welcome to the 8th C-Sharp tutorial. We're going to just open up a console application. Today we're going to discuss the for each. It's very similar to the for loop we discussed in the last tutorial, but for each says for each item in an object. Remember, everything in .NET is an object. Objects can be made of other objects. So we're just going to say string. Whoops, if I can spell it right. String, and we're going to say name. And we're going to say equals, you know, whatever your name is. So now we have a variable called name. Notice how the green squiggly means it's not being used. So the variable name is assigned, but it's never used. Now what we're going to do is for each care c in name. So what we're simply doing is saying for each character, remember character is a type, in name. Name is a string. A string is a series of characters. Each one of these letters is a character. Then we're just going to do console dot right line and then C because we're going to print out each character and then console.read just so we can keep our window open. Press F5 to run and sure enough B-R-Y-A-N. We've printed out every character in our string. So the for each is similar to the for loop but it's different. It's different in the sense that it does a lot of the heavy lifting for you. You could have written this like for um, int i equals zero i less than, uh, let's see here, name.length. Notice how name is a variable, but we are actually using it as an object. That's what I mean by everything in .NET is an object. You can use the name.length to get the length of the string name. And then we'll just say console right line. and then bracket zero bracket. Now what we're doing here is you seeing how we're saying care string int index? What we're doing is saying get the index of that string. Remember we talked about um, zero based in the last tutorial. The first one is zero. Second is one, two, three, four. So let's actually just print this out here. We'll say i plus and let's run this. Then we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Notice how it's only grabbing the B. Well, the reason why is we put a 0 here. If we put this I here, then we're grabbing that current index. Remember, it'll be 0 through the length. So it's going to say 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Don't get thrown off by the fact that it's starting at 0. There's actually five letters there. And we're going to prove that by F5 to run. And you see it says 0B, 1R, 2Y, 3A, 4N. So that is how you do a for loop, and that is how you do a for each loop. Very simple. All the for each does is it takes care of all of this for you. So you don't have to worry about any of this gobbledygook. It's much, much easier to just say for each type in object. Very simple, very easy. Um, this is Brian. I hope you found this tutorial educational and entertaining, and uh, thanks for watching.